The full name for it is Disney Pixar DreamWorks. First, I'm going to watch this lecture. The movie we have to watch this week is Beauty and the Beast. Good morning everyone, welcome to a college day in my life. We have a big day today, lots of stuff to do, so I gotta get out of bed. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and let's go. Okay, I made my breakfast and I'm actually so happy and proud of myself because I've never made a yogurt bowl before. Like I've eaten them at places and I probably like put yogurt in a bowl and put a few strawberries on top and like called it a day. But I've never actually like tried to make a real yogurt bowl that like you see on Pinterest, you know? So I'm so happy and I'm so excited to eat it too. I put Greek vanilla yogurt, strawberries, raspberries, this oat mixture that my mom has and some melted peanut butter. This is definitely going on my Instagram. Instagram story so you should follow my Instagram to like keep up with all my stories and posts and with my yogurt bowl I'm also having my classic smoothie that my dad makes every single morning and in case you're wondering I am back at home I'm not in my college apartment right now I decided to come home for my best friend's 21st birthday so today is Thursday we have a dinner tonight for her birthday and then her birthday is tomorrow on Friday but I think she's doing something with her family and then on Saturday there's also a party so I'm super excited to like see my friends again and to go to this restaurant tonight because apparently it's like really really fancy and they have really good food so I will actually bring you guys along to that because apparently it's gonna be really nice and since I'm doing this little college day in my life like Disney themed I will talk more about that later once I have my breakfast but I'm gonna like focus this vlog on my Disney class and my best friend whose birthday it is is like the Disney queen but that is it for now I'm going to take my Instagram story and then I'm gonna eat my breakfast because sometimes the phone has to eat first and then while I'm having my breakfast I will respond to comments because that's my favorite thing thing to do every single morning usually I do it in bed but I just wanted to get out of bed because we have a lot to do today so yeah I'm gonna reply to my YouTube comments because I respond to every single comment so go leave me a comment down below right now and I will reply to you and yeah I'm just gonna take my photo and eat and I'll catch up with you guys later <laughs> Alright, I am all ready for the day and I'll explain to you what I'm doing today. So if you did not know already, I go to Queen's University. I'm in my third year and I'm majoring in film and media, which is a pretty cool major. We have some pretty cool classes, especially this year. I'm really excited to show you guys all my classes because like they're pretty cool. So today I'm going to be doing a vlog all about my Disney class. The full name for it is Disney Pixar DreamWorks and it's a class about like those companies and their movies and how they make their movies and all that so it's pretty interesting i'm only on week two i think it feels like it's been forever but yeah we're only on week two but i'm going to show you guys what i have to do this week for the class and show you guys what it's like studying disney in college the code for the class is 220 so these are all the assignments i have to do for it this week so i have two readings to do i have two screenings one is like the lecture and one is the movie and then i have an online discussion to do so i'm opening my computer to get all that stuff out first I'm gonna watch this lecture. It's only 10 minutes, not too bad. As I said before, my friend Jordan has always been like the Disney queen in our friend group. Like she's always been obsessed with Disney movies and like Disney World and all that. And I am too, like on a much lower scale, but like I still love Disney, especially like Disney princess movies. Like I still watch them to this day. And I got Disney Plus last year. So especially during like quarantine slash summer, I was watching a lot of Disney movies. So being able to take this class is like so cool. Like I do not take it for granted. Like this is really, really cool that I'm able to take this class and like it counts towards my major so i will watch this lecture it's only 10 minutes usually i watch all my lectures in like two times the speed but this professor talks like kind of loudly so i might be able to watch it in like 1.25 times the speed we'll see
I just finished watching the lecture for this week. It was honestly fine. I was able to watch it in 1.5 times the speed. So what I have left for the assignments for this week are two readings, a discussion post, and a movie to watch. So the order for what I'm going to be doing it in is first I have to do one reading that like there's no like real reason to do the reading like we don't have to write anything about it so I might just like skim that one and then the second reading we have to include in our discussion post so then I'll do that reading and then I'll write my discussion post it's only 150 to 250 words so it's not that bad and then I will watch the movie last because the movie is for our first paper due next week so that's what I'm going to start now okay I found the readings the first one is called from mouse to mermaid the politics of film gender and culture interesting so let's see how many pages this is oh the book is called from mouse to mermaid and the chapter i'm reading is called the curse of masculinity disney's beauty and the beast okay it's 11 pages that's not that bad most of my readings like from last week were like 18 pages each I just finished the first reading and that was actually so good like I'm so happy because usually my teachers the readings they assign are like always so confusing so complicated for no reason I swear they're written in like old English and I can never understand it and they they know like the teachers know they're assigning stuff that no one can read and so I don't really see the point in that but this one was actually written in like such easy English like I understood everything and it was so interesting like it was about Beauty and the Beast I actually like skipped the first five pages because they were kind of like introducing the topic whatever and talking about like other films but I know for this class like I only have to know the stuff about Beauty and the Beast so I skipped the first five pages and I was reading it and it was super super interesting it was talking about how like in the time frame when Beauty and the Beast was released like there was a lot of like conflict I think I skipped the intro so I don't really remember this part but I think there was like conflict about like family dynamics and stuff men being bad people something like that so Beauty and the Beast was created to kind of like turn the public towards the men and like think that the men were actually being good people because in the beast story like he's bad but then he just needs someone to love him and then he turns into the good prince so all these like bad male politicians like you just have to love them and then they're going to be like good people so it was kind of talking about that it was also talking about how like the happiness of society relies on the happiness of the white men because the beast is cursed and even though you might argue that he deserves it because he's like a bad person he's super selfish his service servants are also cursed and they don't deserve it so in order to make society happy in order to like free the servants from the curse you have to make the beast happy you have to make the white man happy so that was a really like interesting perspective that i've never heard of before and like i love this movie but like reading that i was like mind blown it was so interesting so that is over and now i'm gonna read the second article here it's called analyzing the world according to disney oh my god it's 19 pages but i really have to read this one because i need it for my discussion post i'm also gonna like put up the discussion question okay so it says in the assigned reading the author refers to stephen watts's formulation of sentimental modernism reread the relevant sections of the chapter so i guess hmm, i'm only gonna read the parts of the chapter that talk Talk about Stephen Watts's formulation. Thinking ahead. Great news, it is 12.30 and I'm done my readings for the week. I guess now I will start working on my discussion post, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna go help my mom with lunch because she's making these little things that we usually have for appetizers, but we're gonna have them for lunch today. They're like these little puff pastry things and we put brie in them and raspberry jam and they are so good. So I'm gonna go help her make that right now. Lunch is served. This is what they end up looking like. Like they look kind of funky, but they are so good. This is kind of a weird lunch. Like usually we eat these as appetizers, but I'm not like too hungry. And I know that for dinner tonight, for Jordan's birthday, I'll probably eat a lot. You can actually see inside there, like what it looks like. It is honestly probably my favorite appetizer that my mom makes. <laughs> 
Did I just spend half an hour on TikTok? Yes, I did, but it's over now. My phone is over there and I'm gonna start writing this discussion post, super excited. So I'm gonna get out a Word document here to write the post. And on my Safari, I have the discussion question open and we have to reference a movie that we've already seen in the class and the only movie we watched because this is week two and last week for week one, we had to watch Fantasia. So I have this out. I'm gonna try and find a scene that I can reference. And then I also have the textbook part that I need to reference here so yeah that is the plan for now my phone is away it's on my bed right there so I will not go on it and I will grind through this Every time I try and do something for school, whether it's like a really long essay or a short discussion post like this, it always takes me so much longer than I expect it to because I'm so obsessed with like making sure that it's perfect. Like even though this probably counts for like 1% of my grade. All right, I'm just gonna post it. I'm not gonna read it again. There we go. Unfortunately though, I can't cross this off in my planner because the whole assignment is to post your own thing and then respond to two of your peers, which like all my classes are doing and like responding to peers is the most annoying thing ever but i have to respond to two peers 50 words each and so far because today is thursday and it's not due till sunday only three other people have posted in my group and i could reply to them but like i kind of like to read a bunch of people's posts and then choose which ones like i can actually respond to instead of like forcing it out of myself so i think i'm just gonna wait for that plus it's like literally 50 words each like it's gonna be so easy i can do it sunday at 11 55 so i'm just gonna pause on that and watch my movie but first i just remembered that i have this box i want to open on camera because it's very exciting so one of the classes i'm taking this semester is called post-production which is basically editing like editing video but then also editing audio and learning about color correction and all that which i'm so excited about and she said that over the ear headphones is preferable to like actual earphones and i just have the regular apple earphones so i got myself a pair of beats and i'm so excited like these are the first beats I've ever had I remember once when I got my computer actually I was like two weeks late to that like student promotion where you could get a free pair of beats so this is just very exciting they're the beats studio 3 wireless ones and they're white with like a little gold accent so let's see get all the plastic off I think I have to like take this paper off another box I'm very excited, but there's like literally a million boxes to get to it. Let's see. They're so com- oh my god, I can't even like hear myself. They're so comfortable. I'll have to like set them up later because right now I'm gonna watch my movie, but... Now my room is the perfect vibe for watching a movie and the movie we have to watch this week is Beauty and the Beast. What? I was planning on watching the live action over the summer but I never got to it so I'm excited to watch this one and I have a paper on it next week so actually I should probably look to see what that is about so that when I'm watching it I'm like thinking about the paper. To what extent does Beauty and the Beast reflect and reproduce the ideological values of a white middle class patriarchal society? That reminded me that I want to have a notebook with me while I'm watching it so that I can write down any ideas that come to my head about that and look at how cute my notebook is like hello it's like full of stars and planets and I'm just gonna get started with my homework which is watching Beauty and the Beast <laughs> I just finished the movie. It was so good, obviously, such a classic. So I did the second screening, which was the movie, so I can check off that. So for the next little bit, I'm just gonna be getting ready, taking my time. So I will talk to you guys when I'm at the dinner.
ready to go. I'm leaving really soon, but I forgot to print out a picture of her gift because it hasn't arrived yet. It's this Harry Potter candle. I'll put it on the screen. It's by the brand Charmed Aroma, and their thing is that once you burn through the candle, there's a little ring at the bottom. And Jordan sent me a text like saying, oh look, this is like so cool. And like immediately I was like, okay, perfect birthday gift. Like I'll order it. And then the next day I checked my TikTok because I don't have TikTok notifications on. And she had sent it to me. Like she found it through her TikTok and said like, can this be my birthday gift? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna write on the top and the bottom. of this restaurant it's called Marcus apparently it's super popular for being like a photo spot this is what it looks like it is super pretty so we took some photos in here if I get any from anyone's phones I'll insert them right now but everyone else left so we should probably go <laughs> this video so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed seeing what it's like to take a disney class in college don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because i respond to every single comment and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe down below i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video bye